We all know our country Philippines are blessed with incredible landscape, beautiful islands, crystal clear water, stunning beaches, and many waterfalls. But because of this pandemic, maraming lugar dito sa Pilipinas ay nag-lockdown. That's why, hindi madali makakapag-travel from different provinces. But as we know, malapit na maging available ang COVID-19 vaccine dito sa Pilipinas. So, he and I decided, why not, we will make our top 10 list of beautiful places dito sa Pilipinas na aming na napuntahan. Disclaimer lang po, these are our top 10 picks. So, meron possibility na magkaiba tayo ng gusto. As you can see, wala si Pia ngayon dahil nasa Germany po siya. But don't worry guys, it's just temporary. We will be together again soon. But for now, magbo voice over muna siya sa video na ito. Before we will start, kindly like the video and subscribe kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe so that you will be updated sa mga susunod namin video. So, let's start. Number 10. Sipali City of Negros Occidental is approximately 178 kilometers from Bacolod City almost 4 hours drive by public utility vehicle and over 3 hours by private car. Sa Bugana Beach and Dai Resort po kami nagstay kung saan pwedeng mag paddle boarding, swimming, mapapulman or sa beach, and kayaking with their famous transparent boat. At mas try yung pizza nila dito. The city is also known for its tourist destinations like Tinagong Dagat, Perth Paradise Resort, and many more. Pwedeng mag-island hopping at pwedeng land tour din sa Sipalay City, the pride of Negros Occidental. Number 9. Mount Pulag is Luzon's highest peak and is popular among hikers and trekkers because of its famous sea of clouds and the view of the Milky Way galaxy at dawn. What to expect there? Cold weather because it is located in Pinget, the northern part of the Philippines and the weather there is so cold that usually drops to 1 degree Celsius. And then, sea of clouds. The main reason many travelers want to hike Mount Pula. And syempre, a lot of hikers. Mount Pulag hike may not be beginner friendly, but merong ang bangin trail, the easiest trail para sa mga newbies like us. Mount Pulag surely knows how to make someone fall head over heels for her. And now, our number 8, Gigantes Islands, also known as Isla de Gigantes, which means the Islands of Giants. It is a part of the municipality of Carles Iloilo. Pwedeng pumunta dito via Carles or via Estancia. It consists of about 10 islands. The two largest are Gigantes Norte and Gigantes Sur. Perfect place to spend time with friends, family, and partner. Kasi walang masyadong signal at makakapagbanding talaga dito. Pwedeng mag-explore sa lighthouse, mag-island hopping, at pumunta sa mga mystical caves. Kung hilig niyong kumain ng scallops, Gigantes is the best place for you. Number 7. Bohol Island Chocolate Hills is the most famous attraction on Bohol. You can rent a motorbike to get there and explore the entire island. And the most common way to experience the Lubok River on Bohol Island is to join one of the buffet lunch boats. You can explore the man-made forest, go to Bohol Tarshir Sanctuary to see the cute nocturnal primates with large eyes. And we recommend Panglao Island, the most famous Bohol Island destination to experience the white sandy beaches with coconut trees and its crystal clear water. Bohol Island is an island province located in the central Visayas region. You can get there by plane or by boat. Number 6. Boracay Island 
is a small island located in the western Visayas. It is one of the most popular holiday destinations in the Philippines. From swimming, diving, to exciting water sports, and a vibrant nightlife, Boracay is blessed with a long powdery white sand beach, crystal clear waters, stunning sunset, and more. We went there before Boracay undergo the six-month closure from major rehabilitation. Boracay is a part of a clan, so we suggest to visit also Malalison Island, also known as Mararison Island. It's definitely an ideal side trip from Boracay. This island located in the town of Calasi and Pique, just about two hours away from Boracay. The place has a fine white sandbar, easy to trek rolling hills, and pebble beach on one side of the island. Number 5. El Nido, Palawan One of the top tourist destinations in Palawan, which is often referred to as the Philippines' last frontier. When it comes to white sand beaches and islands, El Nido comes highly recommended by local and international travelers. There are full-day tours that include boat transfers, lunch and guides, tour A, B, C, D, and Z. These are available for private and joiner or shared tours. El Nido named as the best island beaches in the world because of its paradise-like attractions with hidden lagoons, limestone formations, stunning islands with white beaches and blue water. And aside from the stunning islands and beaches, you can also tour El Nido's land attractions. And one of the most famous land tour spots in El Nido is the 4-kilometer powdery white sand Nakpan Beach. Nakpan Beach is 45 minutes to an hour away from downtown El Nido. It's one of the best beaches in El Nido. El Nido Palawan is the perfect destination for everyone who is dreaming of a tropical island vacation with breathtaking views. Number 4. Province of Cebu Many things to do in Cebu and first in our list is Kawasan Canyoning or Canyonering in Bajan. It is an extreme but fun activity that become very popular in Cebu. It is done in Kawasan Falls. Second, whale watching in Oslo. It is among the most popular activities in Cebu. Third is scuba diving in Mualboal with millions of sardines. Fourth, hike to Osmeña Peak, the highest point in Cebu but one of the easiest to conquer. And near to it is the white sand and crystal clear water, Tinko Beach, Alcoy. Fifth is Dao Falls, acknowledged as the tallest waterfall in Samuan, Cebu. From numerous waterfalls of Samuan in southern Cebu, one that has really stood out is Dao Falls, with a height of approximately 120 meters. Next is Camotas Islands, a group of islands that are located east of Cebu Island, offers a lot of places to visit and varied activities. And last is Bantayan Island, located west of northern tip of Cebu Island most famous with its white beaches, cool breezes, and friendly locals. From stunning waterfalls, pristine beaches, Cebu's most popular attractions will spice up your vacation. Before we proceed to our top 3, here are some incredible places that barely made it on our list. Sikihor Island It's a small island just south of Cebu. There are stunning waterfalls and beaches to explore. It is the perfect place for relaxing. Guimaras Island is often recommended to travelers who visit Iloilo City. And Negras Oriental, located in Central Visayas region, which is assorted of natural attractions from magnificent waterfalls, lakes, and the known Maldives of the Philippines found here, Manhuyud Sandbar. It also includes Apo Island, a popular dive site for both local and foreign tourists. So guys, without further ado, here are the destinations that made it to the podium. Number 3. Balabac, Palawan Also referred as the Philippines' last of the last frontier. Located at the southernmost island of Palawan province, 
only about 50 kilometers north from Sabah, Malaysia. If you are looking for an ideal island paradise that is so untouched, with stunning islands, pure white sand, and the water is an amazing color, and just so clear, then visit Balabak, Palawan. It is a must-visit gem of the Philippines. And the easiest way to explore the islands is to hire a tour guide and go on island hopping. Balabak Islands are underdeveloped. There are no ATMs there, so be sure to bring enough cash to pay your tour. If you are one of those travelers who like to take the road less traveled, Balabak is the perfect place for you. Island paradise will be yours to enjoy all by yourself. Number 2. Koron Island is a separate group of islands from the main Palawan. It is in northern part of Palawan province. Koron is one of the top tourist places in the Philippines because it is majestic and home to one of the most photographed spots in the Philippines. Koron Island is suitable for family vacations and diving adventures. It is best known for world-class World War II era wreck diving. There are a lot of amazing things to do within the surrounding islands and waters and on the main island like swimming, kayaking, wreck diving, snorkeling, and scuba diving. You can also hike up a mountain or dip in a hot spring. You can join a Koran Island Hopping Package Tours to see some of Koran's tourist spots like lagoons, white sand beaches, and crystal clear freshwater lakes. Koran Island should be included in your bucket list because of its endless landscapes and many epic spots where the view is simply extraordinary. And our number one, Shergao Island, is a tropical paradise located in the province of Surigao del Norte. It boasts the best waves in the Philippines, that is why it is known as the surfing capital of the Philippines. So don't miss riding the waves or just watching surfers in cloud nine. If you don't surf, don't worry, there are plenty of things to do in Shergao. You can hop on a motorcycle and explore the palm tree line roads. Visit Magpupunko Rock Pools, which can only be seen during low tide. You can also jump off at Subba Lagoon. Here you can rent out snorkels, stand-up paddle boards, and kayaks to explore the lagoon. You can also book a day tour to go island hopping. Aside from great waves, Shergao also offers beautiful beaches and small islands that any beach lover can't resist. Shergao is also home to stunning lagoon that is located on the eastern side of Bucas Grande. So continue your off-island adventures and lagoon explorations by booking a tour to Suhutun Cave. There's a whole range of activities from swimming with stingless jellyfish in Blue Lagoon to paddle boarding through ancient mangroves. If you are looking for excitement or relaxation, then Shargao is the best island to visit. And that's for our top 10 list of beautiful destinations here in Philippines. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on our next vlog. Peace!